So I open up my suitcase and bees fly out. All right, so let me actually just give you a really quick rundown of how the, the rundown of how the nonsense uh, led to bees. Uh, the nonsense led to bees due to uh, uh, me misspeaking. So All right, I'm, I'm out. I'm just kidding. Go I'm ahead. Quite, <laughs> fuck. I am quite <laughs> fond of saying words bad, as people well know. So the long and short of it is that I started arguing with people on Twitter. This is a thing that occurs occasionally. It gives you life. Weekly. Yes. Uh, occasionally, uh, I become very empowered and near high with the argument on Twitter. Um, talk about Hunter Hunter. Shut don't the fuck talk up. About Shut the, the fuck bees. up, Alpha. Don't talk about the cubes, Pat. Damn it. Talk yeah. about God and how cool is I did silent. that last week, Alpha. Let's you would know that if again. you kept up with the podcast, you bitch. Ah, damn it. <laughs> All no, right. Talk about talk about more. So, Chimera and. Chimera and. I know, you but we talked story. about this, Finish Alpha. <laughs> anyway. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> when somebody in. said, Pat, why are you so surprised? that the bees stung you when you kicked the hornet's nest. And I replied, oh, m don't worry, man. I meant to say I put on my beekeeper suit today. I unfortunately said, don't worry, I put on my bee suit today. <laughs> Thus led to a bunch of photoshops of my head on babies' costumes of bees. Got it. <laughs> this led to me going, that's fucking hilarious. And changing my Twitter to reflect my new love of bees. Great. Cubes came later as I became tired of bees, and I actually just like cubes. I think cubes are cool. Okay, but what is that actually? Cubes? What's a cube? No, as in what What was the transition there? Oh, well, yeah, I, the, I, the bee joke started to wear thin, so I decided to... Really? Uh, yeah. It, like, it <laughs> I'm took, shocked. It took, like, it took like, I don't know, 45 minutes, and then I was like, ah, fuck it. Because I had somebody had drawn me as a cube, and I'm like, ah, fuck it. I'll just move over to cubes now. So you that like that destroys me because bees are related to hexagons. And yeah. I don't know why cubes came and into now, And now my Twitter thing is a bee that's made out of cubes. Regardless. What does this have to do with Smash Brothers? It doesn't. The, what, none of that. <laughs> that was all bullshit. What actually has to do with Smash Brothers is the initial argument that I was having on Twitter. And the initial one was basically, and it's something that I would like your opinions on as a serious topic. Okay. Well, Smash. I mean, it's, it's actually appropriate because, you know. Y y video games and stuff. Well, you, we do remember that Pat is the Rubik's Cube. Yeah. After all, yep. yeah, yeah. Well, it's all the colors on one side. I was, and it's funny. I was never able to get them over there. Um, it's hard. It's hard. They keep mixing. Um, so I hope that's your joke, and you marked out to it, yeah. like you do. I, really I, I want other people really to echo good. it back at me. It's really good. So the, uh, basically, I went on Twitter, and I wanted to know. I'm getting a lot of people seeing around the internet that are very, very mad. That Smash Brothers leaked because uh, Smash uh -huh. Brothers people got a hold of a retail copy. I believe they might have stolen it or bought it from back Mexico. of a Mexican truck. Possible, possible they had just bought it from an unscrupulous vendor. Could I, be a I, I, truck. I, I'm getting a lot of it, but regardless, some ne'er do wells got a hold of a retail copy of Super Smash Brothers Ultimate for the Switch, and then they dumped it online. And because the game does not require anything higher than firmware 5.1, I believe, to run. Uh, anybody with a hack switch can just download that ROM, throw it on their switch, and now people are leaking shit like crazy. Big world of light spoilers. A storm might have broken street date, apparently. Yeah. That's see, I, I saw that after I was told that it got taken off a truck, so now I'm saying like I don't know. But regardless, mm -hmm. it got out there. And uh big world of light spoilers about like what happens and extra modes, stuff like who that. So show actually talked and just spoiled the whole thing. Yeah. Well, who the, doesn't show up? Who doesn't show up uh, if it, it's being data mined, stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. People are very upset, very mad that the game has leaked. And I wanted to know why. I wanted to know whether or not it is literally just as simple as... I got the game. Uh, I'm doing the game legit. People have the game before me. That sucks. Like if it's if it's that simple, or if there was something more. And the something more appears to be uh, very angry over the idea of piracy at all. Um, mad that this kind of leak would hurt the game or future games because I mean one of the reasons that Sakurai didn't put in a subspace emissary mode was because everybody just showed the shit on YouTube. 
And this was all fine. A lot of these were very good reasons. The, the drama of the argument happens when I, and this is the thing that I want to ask you guys about, how you feel about it. I'm of the belief that if you are very upset at leakers for spoiling Smash, because the leaked copy is out there, that you should be just as frustrated with Nintendo because they have, in many cases, sold you Smash Brothers and it's sitting on your Switch and they have decided to keep the original release date and not unlock the game despite the fact that pirates are currently enjoying a better experience. I view it as piracy is currently offering a better service. You're saying you're asking You're saying people should do illegal things no. to get what they want. I am not saying that. Are you saying that For in rap, response but, but, but to the game doing the illegal thing is a better version? Yes. Uh, are you no, saying piracy is currently yeah. offering a better service than a so, legitimate customer? So you're saying so you're asking should Nintendo unlock the game early because it's been Actually leaked? no, and that's where a lot of the anger came from. Uh, really? <laughs> yeah. The, the the response that came back was, uh, you can't do that because contracts and release dates and shipping. There's a lot of... There's a lot of... And my typical response, because I'm Pat, is I don't give a shit. Mm -hmm. Nintendo, if they desired, could do it, but they have chosen not to for business reasons. But that puts the onus on you not being able to play Smash before people who were not able to... Uh, uh, who did not get it legitimately on Nintendo. Mm -hmm. Because they are not competing with the currently but, superior product. But this guy stole that from a store. So you're saying No, not that necessarily. They could have bought it. They got it illegally, so... No, not necessarily. They could so have... What are you saying? A street date being broken is not against the law. If a company has like a trailer, well, let's say a Smash trailer came, uh, was about to come out like on Nintendo Direct, and some guy just found the trailer, yes, just right. leaked it, that's just information. That's right. That's just a trailer. That's just online. Like, that's a couple of megabytes. Mm -hmm. I would say... I think there should be a certain amount of pressure for a company to just be like, fuck it, here, here it is right now. Then. In fact, Activision not, did that with uh, Call of Duty World of War. We're not going to wait that that amount of time because right. it's going to be in like five days, but everyone knows or whatever. Mm -hmm. I would say that because, again, legal tender is not involved in there. Sure. But when a physical edition of a game is coming out and you have signs and game stops all across the country that say December 7th. Yes. And uh, Best Buys and every single store. No company should be beholden to fuck that all over because some asshole has decided to steal something. Why? So, because that's no, illegal. No, hold, on, hold on. They didn't. First of all, no, it is not confirmed whether or not anyone stole someone. But it's anything. not confirmed it wasn't. Yes, but you cannot go. You cannot assert Even if, the affirmative based off of nothing. Regardless of how it got out early um, and. Uh, you know, into some into people's hands before the intended date. Um, are you then suggesting that we should reward like street date breaks by Absolutely moving not. the game up? So, what are you saying? I am saying because that's effectively what it hap what happens when you do that, right? You basically, if this becomes a continuing trend, you're encouraging people to break street dates to force the game to come out earlier. That's not my concern. But my but 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 it's no. a re no, it's not your concern, but it's a reality of what occurs. I don't care. It's not my concern. Right. Well, you're allowed to not care, but that the reason why no, you, my, my, but the thing you're not caring no, no, about my, is part of why it wouldn't happen. Yeah, but I don't care why. And and this this is the part where it all breaks down. I don't even want the game to come out early. Okay. I don't care. I'm planning to do a stream on December 7th and it would fuck my plans up if it released today, for example. But I'm saying to those of you cuz I don't care that it leaked. It does not affect me or upset me in any way. Okay. Right? I'm saying that if you were the kind of person who was just, oh, I can't believe it leaked, mm -hmm. you should be just as frustrated with Nintendo for taking your money for an inferior product compared to the pirated version. Why is it inferior? Because you okay, do you have Smash Brothers on your on your Switch right now? No. You didn't preload it? No. Okay, I did. Okay. It's currently sitting on my but Switch. But you right don't now. care. No. You just said you don't care. But Whether or not it comes out early or not, actually no, because this... I'm planning a stream. Okay. But let me finish, please. Sure. Currently, if I were to hack my Switch, and I don't think I can, I think my firmware is too, but if I had a hacked Switch and had a pirated version, I could play that. Currently, the legitimate version that I own on the Switch, I cannot. That, by default, makes that a superior version. 
because I, it turns on. The illegal um, version is not the superior no, I, I version. I think honestly, dude, I think you could I, get. Why? I think it's, someone that uploads smash content on their up like they get ready for your copyright strikes that's the risk you run of doing that well, music no, I'm not, two things gameplay. though two things no, though. i'm talking about a different thing altogether oh, yeah, yeah. so that by default makes it not the superior version because it's the risk your version to have if you're going to put online content no i'm not out. talking about that i'm talking pure like i want to play the smash Brothers. yeah two things two things sure but uh, if you're going to play it online, well, it wouldn't have online, right? Uh, actually, no, it does. It, the servers are all up and people are Again, playing online. Again, really risky to do that. Yeah, I think that's foolish. I'm going to forget these points if I don't say them. So sure, the first thing ahead. that comes to mind is that, I, uh, one, I don't think Nintendo having any kind of reaction to that makes sense based on, well, there's a couple of things, but the one of the most obvious ones would just be like, if you ever, if you, I'm sure if you took the data of like how many actual people went through the trouble of getting an early copy mm -hmm. or getting an access to it before it was released versus the amount of people that pick it up on release. It's such a small I fraction. I completely of a, agree, and I think you're 100% right. It's such a fraction of a percentage that it makes no sense to react to what is effectively 0%. Yep. Right? I would be worried about this if this was a much smaller but cooler, uh, like, uh, just as cool game. If it was like this yeah. thing that <laughs> was going to be like almost indie or something or a new IP from Nintendo, I'd be like yeah. really worried about this. But at the end of the day, it's smash so that ends up being yeah, it's, 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 it, yeah so that ends up being like a, a like a complete non-starter if mm. you're if you're going on just the percentage of people um and then uh, uh uh god fuck i knew it was slipping away as i was trying to get there uh, uh -oh. the, yeah and it's gone Damage to Nintendo's business in terms of releasing it early. But Not at all. No, no, no. That's what it is. Got it. Got it. No, no. Got it back. Um, and we're back. The the uh, the other side of this because, I mean, you're kind of prefacing it with if you're if you are as mad as you are. That's correct. And yeah, the this other this entire argument is prefaced on people that are mad at leakers. And the answer should be leaks happen as a part of this industry, and it goes down, and it, it you shouldn't be any mad at one leak than you are at others. Mm -hmm. It's just yeah. well, but it's Smash Brothers is really important. Yeah, no, it's, any other like Smash Brothers. Fans. A leak is a leak is a leak. A street date break is a street yeah. date break. That's you know, true. it's think, it is what it is. I and, think we're a lot and there's of no, higher... and it there's no there's there's definitely no sense to getting hot and bothered over that. Um, I, the the part that the there's more to that, but like I really don't understand just like the fury over like people who have already bought Smash Brothers downloading a leaked version ahead of time. Like if they bought it, they bought it. I'd be too scared to download any leaked of anything. Oh in yeah, this day and age. no, totally. Yeah. Like you, the the worry is always bricking, right? But I think a lot of the I well, not a lot, but maybe a good percentage of ire of people seeing Smash spoilers, aside from it just being Smash spoilers and just people that anticipate in the game, is because there has been a fervor around Sakurai just. I'm I'm, st I'm working so hard yes, for all of you. Yes, exactly. And yeah. 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 even if he doesn't personally care about like if it releases December seventh versus December fifth, mm. or people playing it, I think it's people just are like, but it's res like, it's at, at least a show of respect to wait until the game is fully out. We don't even know yeah. if there's going to be. It's Nintendo, so it's kind of fifty fifty. Probably even less than fifty fifty. Whether there's even going to be a day one patch. Supposedly or there is. Which, again, would probably make this, depending on what the patch is, would probably make an early version again. I'd imagine that the early version of Fallout 76 was the, the inferior version oh. if that had leaked. But um, yeah. in this day and age, Nintendo is not as bad mm. with day one patches as most people are. Like, not to say mm. that there isn't them. I'm sure there is. As but. a caveat, I want to also say that, like, I understand the perspective. I don't understand the Pat Shit King fucking standing on the mountain perspective of... Um, like if you're gonna if be you're mad, this mad, then be mad at the right then people. fuck you because I can because you can I can devil's advocate my yeah. my my actions by saying hey I'm just simply going for the better product or or whatever. Um, mm. I also want to make sure that like you're not mischaracterizing because uh, I I don't know about this anger, mm. but is it act is it anger at the leak or is it it's anger a, at spoiler content it, get hitting people that didn't want to get spoiled? It's anger or at, is it anger at 
you know, like other types of things that were. It's ba- anger at um, the 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 leak occurred because it, they feel it's disrespectful to Sakurai and Nintendo. It's anger at the fact that there are spoilers for World of Light now around. See, because con- ang- being upset at spoil at, con- at content being right. spoiled is is a thing I understand. It's uh, a completely separate. Yeah, absolutely. Issue. But that's like the reality. It's unfortunate, right? The, the reason the reason given be the your- uh, the third one is anger that somebody would download an unauthorized copy of a game. Oh no. Uh, yeah, th- those those things are oh. those reasons that are not content spoilers. There are things that are just like, yeah, it's a bummer, but you 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 shouldn't like rant and rave about it. I think it's kind of a. I don't I don't think yeah, Sakurai cares fans. at this point because he just puts everybody in, and you can see how exhausted he is just looking at those Nintendo directs and like, I'm done. Come on, guys. <laughs> like it's like I don't care if this is gonna come out like today or if somebody leaks it because you can see it in his face. Yeah, so it, the, the the indignation, you know, is is a is a weird reaction to have in that scenario. But ultimately, um, it makes zero sense for Nintendo to ever react to this type of thing. Oh, outside of doing what they did with Pokemon back at Game Buzz, where they went like, "Oh, you broke Street Date in Montreal, Canada. Yeah, fuck. fuck you." I'm yeah. so surprised they even <laughs> cared. Yeah, about that. Um, yeah, well, I completely agree with that, one hundred percent. My only point is that if you're mad at people spoiling a game, you should be just as mad at the company who is allowing it to be spoiled by not letting you play it, despite the fact that retail copies are in almost all stores and the digital version is often sitting on your console waiting for an unlock date. But it's like having talked to people that like were, used to work at Capcom like years ago, it's like, why don't we just not have jobs like marketing guys or like head up guys? They're like... Everything is kind of laid out and to have anything, be it leaks, be it just uh, even fuck ups on their part, like uploading stuff to the world. Or Ono doing Ono shit. Or Ono being Ono. It's like, it's basically, then our jobs are moot now. All our planning for, for months or maybe even a year is out the window. And putting a game, having a game coming out like next year myself, it's like, I wouldn't be also happy if somehow the the switch version got released early and but even if i wasn't working on that i i kind of someone said this to me is like if everything was all digital every console was all digital it'd be so much easier to deal with these things yeah actually that retail was, does hold it back a that, little, was, that, from, that was from reacting faster that was where i ended up going next in which it's like the main thing about all of this that i think of is that once a game goes gold it should be put up for sale and then they should print discs and ship them out and people who need to get it retail should wait. Uh, game developers, sorry, game publishers wanted to go all digital because they'd have more strict DRM than a physical copy. It, and then they wanted uh, not to pay for discs, um, right? The- but we never got the benefit of a digital distribution in that there's no reason for us to wait for the, the discs to ship out to fucking whatever Arizona. So the, the problem in, in the general scenario you're proposing is that you need two unreasonable people mm. standing in their positions and we have to <laughs> accept that their unreasonable like st- stance is not going to move, right? And that's already like a flawed premise to begin with. Mm-hmm. But let's say we entertain right. that thought and go into this insane world where you're this frustrated at something that you shouldn't be. Mm. What happens if the game doesn't have an early preload? And doesn't have an. Uh, Pretty sure it does, uh, right? though. Well, it does. But I no. But if I mean, I, no. What I mean is, does your scenario stand the same if there's no um, it, it, available it, version it, and the trucks couldn't pull up to your house any faster? It does, but the but the fact that there is a current like copy of Smash sitting on many people's switches does add uh, the extra little like. Oh yeah, you're staring at it. the button. You just can't click. Like, it. Have you have you seen what it no, looks I like? Haven't, it is. It, it looks like you, you Smash is playable on your your console, and you click on it, and goes no. Nah! Yeah. And it's, but, and it's pretty much the whole game. But would but would that would you would you what what would it turn into then though if there was no available way for the thing to get to your house? Well, the answer would be then that the if a retail copy exists, that means the digital storefront copy must also therefore exist. And yeah, take a couple days and put it up on the store, or you know, depending on like Sony updates their shit on Tuesdays, right? Put well, it, that obviously makes no sense for Smash. Yeah, put it up on the next store update. Roll it through. Um, uh, someone just gave me a helpful, yeah, this is... sorry, a helpful tip that's kind of related but unrelated. They're like, if you're worried about Smash spoilers, there's a variety of add-ons you can get yeah. for your browser to so, 
you can put Smash Brothers. Yeah, I used one called Video Blocker on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You just I, put that in, and it'll just track every Smash Brothers thing. I had Brothers that on until the game is released, and then you can just turn. I it had off. a browser blocker on for Near Automata spoilers. Because no other website gives oh, a shit about Smash Brothers, but like YouTube, it's like you're gonna be on like Variety.com or like whatever. I, They're like, it was, look at these Smash World of Light spoilers, bitch. It was overzealous, and I had to turn it off. Like it, uh. like I couldn't even go to my own YouTube page. And oh, see yeah, the videos it was getting posted. Yeah. It was too aggressive. I think probably oh. the most frustrating thing about all this to me is that everybody thinks that I'm just mad that I can't play Smash first. No, I don't care. It's it's really hard for you <laughs> to articulate this in such a way where it doesn't seem like that. Is it? Even though I believe you're being truthful in this sense, but it's a hard thing to talk about without it sounding like I want it to release. Again, now. you're. Your premise and that's if is, Wooly said it, and that's if I said it. Your too. premise is like you're yelling at a person on, in their in their indignation, but you're both on yeah. an irrational island mm -hmm. to begin with. Yeah. So, but you and, know, uh, on top on top of all this, like the main thing is that uh, how do I put this? If you have already bought Smash, like I think it's totally natural for you to download that leaked version. Don't break your Switch, but. Like, did you buy it? Did you put money down? Does Nintendo have your money? That means you own it. Like, I really I mean, think if anyone's debating buying a or downloading a pirate version yeah. years ago, I'd be like, yeah, go nuts. Yeah. Now is like it's just such a bad idea. I'd be always scared of. Well, of on anything. your on your proper console, yeah. Like <laughs> get I, a dummy console. I, I remember I, you, that's why you keep your fucking bullshit console to do your crap that's on. That's why I have three we use. I mean, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of not for the same purposes. No, it's, well, it's, no, you, one would be the fucking one that's hacked to run PAL games. No, often. no, it wasn't hacked. I never hacked a Wii U. It's just because so I can play Devil's Third. Yeah, no, the, the the discussion has evolved in such a way where it's less about how you feel about the issue and more about what are you an idiot yeah you crazy you want to brick your system don't mm -hmm. do that and uh what was it the other oh, that's shit. five to ten <laughs> there's this whole nintendo ward in the prison yeah like have you guys ever uh, uh no you guys don't use steam all that often but you ever i, mean, I do i use steam a lot. well no but you ever use a vpn to tell them that you're in korea and australia no, so, you can I play, don't. so that you can play a game 20 hours early no okay <laughs> see i've done that and that's technically against the rules. God damn it! But uh, I think I did it for an assassin. I think I did that for Assassin's Creed Origins. Actually, you could you could tell them that you're in Australia and you could play the game a day early. I see no like actual distinction between that and say getting your leaked copy if you already bought Smash and work are going to continue to buy Smash. Um, you know, I, I really love Spider Man. And the Spider-Man game, it's like, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just being older, but it's just like, I can't think of a single game in the la maybe Metal Gear 3, where I'm like, I need to play it early. I mean, I'll yeah. try to get a code. I'll talk to a guy or two. I'm like, do you, do you got a code? And if everyone tells me no, which is almost all of the time, I'm like, well, mm. that's my life. That yeah, that's rough. <laughs> I have fond memories of... Uh, Motherfuckers coming into Funzo with early copies of, of uh, fighting Fight games Fort. when they came out. Like, yeah. like let's say, like, back when he got, like, his early Amazon ship. Or, oh, I, you know. well, do you remember when we <laughs> were the reason that, like, fucking street, Super Street Fighter got out early in Montreal and caused all them problems? Uh... <laughs> I remember. Game, I was thinking about those problems. Because Game Buzz, we lined up at midnight. Uh, we did our thing. Because if we fucking, I, I tricked fucking Game Buzz and uh, what was the other place? Game Zone into thinking tricked the, all of the games. into the other store had started to sell it early, and in their paranoia, they actually sold it early to beat the other store. To me, good old Pat. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I did that same thing with yeah. Bayonetta. I got Bayonetta three weeks early. But there was there was these, these <laughs> there was these days. <laughs> Where Guys, everyone, this is a real human being, right? And a real hero. Uh, <laughs> everyone hero. would, everyone would crowd in to one spot to like the one console that had the new the new fighting game, and we'd all fucking just go ham on it for one night. It was fun. Those were good times. Those were good times. Uh, that geez. dude, like, anyway, that's. Like... I'm always afraid of a company's just having this whole wing of their offices that are just tracking down who's playing a game online right now. That's 
that's early, even if you're offline. I don't, I don't imagine know. there. There's a wing. <laughs> Probably I, not. I imagine there's there's I'm a scared. there's a little beep boop that comes on someone's computer and says somebody just unlocked the trophy for whatever, and you're <laughs> and they go like, yeah, yeah, yeah fucking yeah. what? I'm Trophies. trying to remember how that went down, and was that you on the phone going, oh, they're selling it. Oh, they're selling it over there? Hey, guys, they're selling it over there. We should probably... So, yeah, what happened what, is... What, I, this one is something what, what like happened that, is right? it, 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 was this, it was the game buzz that no longer exists underneath uh, the, the the fucking theater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, And um, I'm on... I'm ta I'm arguing with the guys. Like, you, I can see you have Super Street Fighter. Just give it to me. I will buy it, or else I'm going to go down to fucking Game Zone and get it. And I fucking call Game Zone. I'm like, hey, man. Oh, cool. You got Street... And Wooly was there, and there were like 10 guys with me. Like, they're all just like, oh, fighting games. Just a bunch of people just showed up. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool, you're selling it? And I'm like, okay, well, they're the game zone they're down, down in fucking Verdun. They're just going to fucking sell Super Street Fighter, so fuck you. I'm out of here. Dude's like, oh, fine. <laughs> oh, don't tell anyone. And then we all bought our copies. <laughs> and then I called Game uh. Zone and told them, yo, I just bought copies of fucking Super Street Fighter from Game Buzz. <laughs> They're selling it early. You should sell it early. And then told other people to go down to Game Zone. And then they got Damn. their copies early. Uh, motherfucker. But it's like someone that cares even <laughs> less than like Nintendo for who's buying stuff in Quebec is like Capcom. Yeah. They don't fucking care. Yeah. And especially back then. I think I think companies yeah. are a little more yeah. like, eh, eh, uh, nowadays, but Super Street Fighter 4, <laughs> no one gives shit. See, it's the it's, it's, yeah, go ahead, it, it's the callback, right? Yeah. It's the after-the-fact call, but the unnecessary recalling game buzz. Yeah, uh, so, uh. So. Didn't need to happen. No, <laughs> but it, it had to get out. You could have just walked. No. You could have just walked, you know? You ever see Heat? When they're driving away, just you could have just drove off, you know? And then fucking De Niro's like, that motherfucker, I'm turning this car around. Gotta I gotta extra. get him. I can't believe he fucked me. Like, you didn't have to turn the car you around. You have to be so extra. What's the difference between a leak and tricking some dumb retail employee into giving you the game fucking 10 days? It was early. Dumb retail was... employee such as yourself? No, no. I remember this guy. You remember him? He was the guy with the baseball oh, cap? This... Okay, sorry, sorry. I thought you meant in specific. No, no. I mean Because I was like, guy. what the fuck? That's the same dumbass <laughs> no. that sold me Bayonetta three The very early. specific person. That's that why you... I went to that game buzz because I saw that that dumb fuck was there. I am sure that... So... No, wait. It was the owner that sold Pokemon so... early. Can you believe that? Pat's this... fury is righteous because he hated the specific guy that he tricked. Th this is as close as I ever got. He got I'm fired like, for stealing. Never right. forget. I, I heard from someone that's like, yeah, they're sending Bayonet, Bayonet early. And I just happened to be at that time in a Walmart. And I'm like, are you selling Bay Bayonetta? And they had it in a glass case. And it said on like a little like, you know, sticker or whatever, like January, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, but you have it right there. Can you sell it to me? And they're like, no. And I'm like, okay. And I walked away and I bought some McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, I, I need to ask the question once. And if it get told no, I'm like, oh, you got to obey the rules. No matter how old you are, you got to listen to your parents. So, and I walk away. So but like, then someone else that bought that copy of Pokemon, so, the yeah. first thing they so, do is take a picture so, and put it on Game Pass. Yeah, so the guy that I'm talking about, <laughs> yeah. I walked up to him on fucking uh, uh, January 30th. Which was three weeks before Bayo's release, and it and it's fucking on the shelf. I'm like, yo, give me a copy of Bayo. He's like, is that out yet? I'm like, yeah, totally. Okay, cool. And then yeah. I bought it. And I got it. I'm like, by the way, game's not out yet. Bye. Yeah. So <laughs> like, if Pat ever gets convicted of video game crimes, you yeah. can just subscribe to the Twitch Super Best Friend cast or Super Best Friends channel. And just and you can see the prosecutor just licking his lips. Maybe. Well, I mean, Your Honor, play the clip. You prosecutor know, yeah, for video game clip. crime. <laughs> play it for the jury. Play, play it for the jury. Listen, like one thing for for I'll what it's worth. Thing. Don't make the fucking mistake of Twitch streaming your early oh copy. Oh my god, <laughs> you moron! Is that not the funniest thing I, you have ever it's seen? The most tone deaf thing, where it's like fucking read the room. Lit the room being the world. Literally, literally, friends have had the job of reporting and shutting down streams of games before that, release day. That shit blows my fucking mind. If you want to stream your bullshit early acquired game. Don't do it on Twitch or YouTube, dumb fucks. Go do it on that weird Russian site that people use. The one that like, Monster Hunter But it's the same mentality as when we talk about when someone remade a game or just didn't fucking ask anyone for the rights to a game. It's like, we're releasing this game. 
And it's like, don't fucking say anything. You know how you say stuff? By putting it on Twitch. It's kind of a popular hey, site. Hey, uh, selecting the game hey, everybody, from the list. <laughs> hey, everybody, I'm, I'm playing an unreleased game, and over in the back there is the new hot pay-per-view fight. Check that out. That's uh, in the back. Uh, shit, oh, also, uh, I have a China rip of this movie that's not out yet. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh, man, you can see, you can totally see me in the reflection. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Oh, oh they know what I look like. Oh fuck, <laughs> oh, dude, oh, God. Like, that has to be a thing. Oh, so man. after Next all, there's a video. fucking amazing. There's this um, like this detective work that R. Kappa fucking went on a quest because a screenshot of early Venom and uh, some other uh, infant Marvel Infinite DLC characters showed up on someone's TV, and it was a shot of a VHS scroll. Not a VHS. It was a shot of a TV with the characters. And then, like the background had a certain type of curtain, oh, and you these can fucking and these motherfuckers. These curtains are only the internet just this. went and like their fingers split apart like Ghost in the yeah, Shell, yeah, yeah. and they just typed oh, and they fucking <laughs> found the exact stream where here at Filipino Champ's house, when the camera <laughs> swerves around, oh, we see that curtain. They gave him the game early. The top players get the game early access. Damn it, F Champ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was fucking nuts. <sighs> so after a few hours of that, I was all high on argument and then made bees and, and cubes. And now now you're up to date. Now okay. you're up to date. There you go. So uh, big Hunter, stitch. Hunter, Hunter. Go yeah. back to Hunter. Hunter. <laughs> he I finished it. He finished he, it. I fucking finished uh, it, Alpha. It's what more do you want? Uh, no, I just don't want to talk about bees and cubes. Goongi is cool, I guess. I also played Warframe, nothing to say there other than they put out some new hats. New hats are cool, especially the Equinox skin. And played a bunch of Dark... I'm playing Dark Souls again, and that game's really fun. But more than that, I got people in touch with me talking to me about cut content to Dark Souls 3. Do you guys remember that Dark Souls 3 original like yeah. leaked screenshots were like yeah. massively wildly different? Yeah, I saw a bunch of stuff popping up recently. No, wait, no, it was Bloodborne stuff yeah, popping yeah. up. Snake yeah, was it the giant uh, snake like, thing? And yeah, the, 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 it yeah. just basically it's as fully summed up. Like, you know why uh, Souls lore is all inscrutable and shit? And it's because the game is chopped that. and screwed and remixed to fuck yeah. and bosses are moved around at random. And they didn't like know what they were going to get three on. Three months yeah. before the game comes out. Yeah. So Just like the Zelda games. What? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And that's me. Yeah.